Hello, can you hear me? Oh, hi Mr. Kelly's 10th grade English class. I'm Jean Yolen, and when Hannah called me to tell me that you guys needed a guest speaker for your modern poetry unit, I was glad to speak. I always start my presentations by reading my first poem I ever wrote. I wrote this poem when I was in preschool, and I feel it's a great way to show kids that everyone starts somewhere. Writing is truly a muscle that you have to continually work to make stronger. Actually, I think I have a poem oh, right here. <laughs> Um, so I wrote this poem when I was in preschool. It's the first one I ever wrote. Bus, bus, wait for us. We are going to school. And we know the rule. We were going to the zoo, but the teacher got sick. Boo-hoo. So instead, we went to pick berries, but could only find cherries. The end. As you can hear, that poem is really bad. But if you continue to work on your writing, it can become so much better. Now I'm going to read you a poem I wrote in 1998 titled The River. I have that on my computer, I believe. Yes, okay. The river, the slow Connecticut, clean enough for sweet salmon to run its course again. Snakes stew greening grass banks, unstartled by spring. We drove across macadam bridges, river road to river road, over a millennium of winding water, never getting wet. Is progress counted in the distance we travel or the distance we still have to go? This poem is similar to another poem I wrote, actually, um, titled Egret in Flight. Both are made to reflect peaceful moods, and this one reflects the peaceful mood of a river. This poem is shaped similar to a long, thin river which winds down the coast. I am personally fond of water as I lived in the Connecticut River Valley for a few years and visited the Cubane Reservoir often. I love to see different types of nature and all the nature surrounding the reservoir. Through, through this poem, I not only discuss the beauty of the greening grass banks, but also the meaning of time. I pose the question on the reader whether progress is measured by what we have done or what we still have to accomplish. With all problems, you reach the middle and choose to keep going or to stop. But a river continually moves forward. You never look back with the river. You only continue to move forward. I try to reflect my personal life through my poetry. Many of my themes deal with nature or my personal conflicts. However, the majority of my 250 books and poems are uplifting. Throughout my life, I have always been a gold star kid, for I was, of course, the perfect student and child. My brother and me were good friends, and we um, shared a great family life. I was always interested in writing and received my first job as an editor. I planned to spend my whole life editing and writing. But of course, plans changed, and I became a children's writer. I still enjoy writing nature poems and books, but my main focus is authoring children's books. I love talking with children and inspiring them to become writers as well. Speaking of, uh, Hannah, didn't you have a poem you were going to share? Yeah. That was very good. Uh, that's actually really similar to my poem, The um, River. I know we've co-authored The Lake together, um, reflecting my personal style of my love of nature and like the style of the poem, how it's round, like my river poem. It goes straight down like a actual river. And um, I'm just glad to see that I can inspire many children to become writers and continually improve their writing. I know the lake is just in its first stage of writing, but together we'll continue to make it um, publishable. Uh, thank you for your time, and keep reading and keep writing. Thanks.